Hello everyone, welcome back to Limatic once again. Since 8 months, I have not uploaded a single video because I was quite busy or I was very much busy in upgrading my fast startup products built on Flutter. So I was very much excited to launch that but uh, some problems occurred in the meanwhile after launching and so many feedbacks came and I was the single developer and I had to handle all the scenarios for my products and what is that product and what the products all about i'll be giving you all the details in the upcoming videos but in this videos i'm here to discuss about a common problem or a big problem that took me two two three days to resolve that one and without prior notice firebase has stopped one setting or one uh, authentication you can say and that was uh, like a hell for me for that three days after researching in chat gpt in the stack overflow or all over this internet i found that solution in a particular website called ready.com and that saved my so much time but otherwise it would have a nightmare for me but what is the problem let's dive deep into this problem and i promise you that in this upcoming year my videos will be helping you to learn the flutter wave development as well as the flutter mobile app development because whatever the knowledge i gained while building my product or, or while developing my product was uh, outstanding i mean i didn't know or i couldn't believe that flutter could help me or flutter could uh, uh, allow me to develop a product that can uh, run on multiple devices and uh, uh, for desktop version for web version for mobile version and it run also runs smoothly on the tablet versions also so I'm very much excited to set the knowledge or the set the skill set or uh, what I have learned in this uh, journey, in this startup journey by building my uh, SaaS product, software as a service product and uh, we'll come to know or we'll be releasing that uh, product very soon in the form of marketing and all. So that video will be uploading in this channel as well. So let's come back to the problem. What is the problem that I was facing since three days? there is a feature we all know being a developer in the firebase if you have ever used the firebase then you must know firebase authentication allows us a feature called phone authentication and phone authentication can be implemented in mobile app desktop app as well as the web app but in web app while developing you need to test your phone whether the phone is getting any sms code or not for that we need to write some course after writing after setting everything you need to send something like uh, you need to send the code to your mobile device if you are running that app on your web browser that web browser sends the code to your mobile but to in order to receive the message message in your phone it has to send earlier firebase was supporting the local host colon port number 5000 or any other port number that you run while uh, running your app in the terminals by giving web port the port number but suddenly before one month or i don't know uh, since when firebase has stopped allowing the localhost support uh, but i guess uh, before one month i think in october or november uh, in october or september they have stopped allowing the localhost to test in the development mode if it is in the release mode or if it is in the firebase hosting if you host your application in the firebase hosting like here you can see then it will work if you just uh, test your website by running in the local host column 5000 and if you don't give a uh, proper domain name then it won't work by just writing this local host is not sufficient enough to test your phone authentication very phone authentication in your web browser maybe in mobile it would work but in web browser it will not work so that was the problem and uh, after adding this also it was not working but there is a trick what i came to know is that we need to add a domain or not domain a ip address of your local system and we know that local system has an ip address of 127.0.0 0 0.1 right so that i added in my uh, product uh, settings this is not my product this is the tutorial project which i am just showing you after adding this it will work fine 
so after adding this the recaptcha invalid token error was gone and i was able to get sms into my mobile and after that it is redirecting to my actual product features because all the apps has uh, in the front page or in the first page mobile verification uh, or mobile number and name will be there after you clicking the next button it will send you as sms code or verification code the same feature i have in my app so that is the problem i faced and i thought of sharing this problem so with you all because there are a lot of developers they have been developing but uh, finding the root cause is not that much easy uh, because firebase is changing rapidly and they are increasing their securities so this video can be a help to you all if you are facing the phone authentication verification recaptcha invalid token issue so please watch this video till the end and uh, share this with your friends and colleagues who are uh, using flutter or uh, who are using flutter to develop web apps or mobile apps so if you like this video then don't hesitate to subscribe like and comment and comment and let me know if this video is helping you in any way and please be notified that in this upcoming year i am going to share all the knowledges that i gained or i got uh, during this uh, startup journey and while building my app it has lot of problems that i faced and i am going to share with you all might not be all times i'll be showing you how to develop apps but how to resolve the problems that will be the main topics of my channel and i will help you all while developing and uh, there was a part uh, i was developing one app parental control app and i'll be uh, finishing that first uh, last part and uh, i'll say that code in the next video till then keep watching my videos and thank you so much for subscribing and watching this video till the end see you in the next video i hope this video helps you in somehow